Welcome back to the second video covering the 1994 to 1996 Fantastic Four action figures produced by Toy Biz. But first, before we look at the toys, let's talk about the unreleased 1993 Fantastic Four movie. In 1982, the rights to a film adaptation were sold from Marvel Comics and almost 10 years had passed with little movie studio interest. So, in a story that has many different versions, a production began on a low-budget Fantastic Four movie, co-produced by low-budget filmmaker Roger Corman. The film was completed and tentatively scheduled for a Labor Day weekend release in 1993. A trailer actually appears in the Carnosaur VHS. That's when I first realized that the movie even existed. But, either due to its poor quality, or it's making just an exercise to renew a copyright claim, the film was never released, but bootleg copies did make it out. Possibly, the hype around this film, or maybe Marvel Animation getting back into the cartoon game with an X-Men and a Spider-Man cartoon, saw the release of the Marvel Action Hour on September 24th, 1994. In Series 3, we had the following characters. Annihilus, Adam Warlock, The Thing Version 2, Namor, The Super Sprawl, and Triton. The first figure we'll look at today is The Thing Version 2. This version came equipped with a disguise so The Thing could freely walk the streets without getting noticed. It came with glasses, a hat, and a trench coat. This version looked more like the animated Thing from the TV cartoon. Let's get a good overall look at the thing on his card. The next figure we'll look at is Triton. Triton, the Inhuman. The second Inhuman produced in the Toy Biz line. Triton is also a member of the Inhuman's royal family. Triton has the ability to breathe underwater and wears a special harness that keeps his body constantly wet. He also has super strength, stamina, and agility. Triton first appeared in Fantastic Four, number 45. Triton comes packed with a horn and a shark. Now let's get a good overall look at Triton on his card. Continuing with an underwater theme, let's look at Namor the Submariner. Namor is a prince of Atlantis. He's half human and half Atlantean. Considered to be the first mutant, Namor has super strength, super agility and speed, and can live underwater and on the land. But long periods without exposure to water weakens him. Namor can also fly with small wings on his feet. Namor's first appearance was in Marvel Comics number one. He also comes packed with a shield and a trident. Let's get a good overall look at Namor on his card. Next up is the Super Scrawl. An alien from the planet Scrawl, the Super Scrawl was used in the second attempt by the Scrolls to conquer the Earth. Using the Scrawl's natural shape-shifting ability, an array that enhanced his strength, giving him all of the powers of the Fantastic Four, the Super Scrawl came very close to defeating the Fantastic Four, until the secret ray was shut off and the Super Scrawl lost all of his superpowers. The Super Scroll first appeared in Fantastic Four, number 18. Let's get a good overall look at the Super Scroll on his card. So I might as well address the elephant in the room. In the Series 3 card back, an Adam Warlock figure appears. But this figure was never produced on a Fantastic Four card back. Instead, the figure was released on an Overwatch card game card. Here's a look at a loose example to compare with the picture on the back of the Fantastic Four card back. Adam Warlock was replaced in the Fantastic Four line with Atuma, Warlord of Atlantis. Believing he is the prophesied leader of Atlantis, Atuma led some Atlanteans in an attempt to overthrow Prince Namor as the ruler of Atlantis. With the help of the Fantastic Four, Atuma was defeated by Namor. Atuma has super strength and superior combat ability. Atuma first appeared in Fantastic Four, number 33. Atuma also comes packed with a weapon, a sword. 
Let's get a good overall look at Atuma on his card. Last in Series 3 is Annihilus, ruler of the Negative Zone. In an attempt to find an antiparticle to treat Sue Storm's cosmic ray related pregnancy complications, the Fantastic Four first met Annihilus. Narrowly escaping with the much needed supplies, Annihilus has many times sought revenge for his defeat by the Fantastic Four. Annihilus has super strength, flight ability, and can fire energy blasts due to his exposure to the Cosmic Control Rod. Annihilus first appeared in Fantastic Four Annual Number 6. Let's get a good overall look at Annihilus on his card. That concludes Series 3. Now, let's move on to the Series 4 assortment, including The Wizard, Johnny Storm, The Thing Version 3, Psycho Man, and Medusa. The fourth series of Fantastic Four came on unique card backs for each character. Also, the plastic bubble that held the figure was redesigned and now had a 4 symbol on it. First up in Series 4 is the Wizard, leader of the Frightful Four. The Wizard is a scientific genius who invented an anti-gravity disc that gave him flight ability and can also be used as an offensive weapon too. First facing off against the Human Torch in Strange Tales number 102, the Wizard founded the Frightful Four, or the Sandman, the Trapster, Medusa, and the Wizard in Fantastic Four number 36. Let's get a good look at the Wizard on his card. Next up, Johnny Storm, or the Human Torch, version 3. This version of Johnny Storm has two different color variations. There's one with the blue top, and there's also one with a red top. The Series 4 figures are a tad bit bigger than the previous figures that were in the Toy Biz line. They also all come with a figure stand or platform. Let's get a good overall look at Johnny Storm here on his card. We continue with The Thing version 3. All of the 4th series Fantastic Four figures came with the base for the toys to stand up. This version of The Thing is wearing a tank top, pants, and boots. The figure is quite large compared to the previous series figures. Let's get a good overall look at The Thing on his card. Next up is Psycho Man. Tyrant from the Microverse. Psycho Man uses his mood-altering rays to cause his victim's emotions to change to his will, hate, anger, and fear. After journeying to the Microverse, the Fantastic Four first encountered Psycho Man in Fantastic Four Annual Number 5. Let's get a good overall look at Psycho Man on his card. The last figure we'll look at today is Medusa, Queen of the Inhumans. Wife of Black Bolt, Medusa has psychokinetic hair that can be used as an offensive or a defensive weapon. Originally a member of the Frightful Four, Medusa found that she had suffered a memory loss and soon left the supervillain group. Medusa's first appearance was in Fantastic Four, number 36. Let's get a good overall look at Medusa on her card. So there are all of the Series 3 and Series 4 Fantastic Four figures made by Toy Biz in 1995 to 1996. Again, like Series 1 and 2, the core characters received some upgrades. And the supporting cast was really fleshed out. Between Series 1 and 4, 28 of these action figures were produced. But actually only 22 characters were produced, with 3 versions of The Thing and Human Torch, and 2 versions of The Invisible Girl. Other than the Marvel Legends, no other toy line has produced so many supporting characters for the Fantastic Four to interact with. These aren't exactly the hardest set of figures to put together, and shouldn't cost much more than what they originally retailed for in the 1990s. Well, that wraps up the figures. We still have the big figs, vehicles, metal mania, and premiums to go through, so stay tuned for the next video. I would like to thank you for watching this video. Please like, 
share, and subscribe to catch my latest uploads. And until next time, just call for four. Fantastic Four. Batwing soup? Wasn't I supposed to be biting you?